Hey, it's Mike from Maker Moose. Today I'm going to be using my Sizzix stencil and stamp tool, uh, which I have been using for stamping, and I've been loving it for that. But I thought it does have some stamping or stenciling functionality behind part of its design, so I thought I'll pick up one of the st uh, stencils meant for this tool and see how I like it. I also am planning to try out the, obviously there's a sticky grid, so I can just use any stencil on that, but I do want to try out their little adapters, converters that they have to convert existing layering stencils to use with this. So I've got this mountain scene uh, layered stencil. It's a four piece, so there's four different sets there. I'm going to aim for what they have already just to see the results that I get. Um, I do have a piece of um, Bristol smooth cardstock that I've cut down to six and a half by six and a half. This is a six inch by six inch stencil. So I did reposition my camera uh, and I'm trying out some different lighting techniques. So hope now um, <laughs> I've, I've cleared uh, my camera here before I was hitting it. <laughs> so I had to do it off screen a lot. So I don't need this for what I'm going to be doing today. I've also got my Simon Hurley dye inks here. I'm going to be using six for this stencil. Uh, Minty Fresh, S Shooting Star, Guppy, Tropical Tango, Clear Skies, and No Diving. So it should be a little darker here, then get lighter over here. Stencil two. Number three, and now since I am using dye inks, I can use the same color. So I could have used um, a light hand of Tropical Tango for stencil number one, and then for stencil number two, I could have added a, uh, a deeper layer. I'm really like like I I think it even looks better when there's it's not an even layer. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I like this very like I was planning only to do the variation, the darker um on the second layer of the mountains, but um I'm liking the way this is looking. So just so that you know what I'm talking about with the dye inks and just doing a second layer without adding any more to my brush. I'm just gonna go over this area again. I will actually be using no diving on this stencil, but just so that you can see another option or if you don't have as many colors. Really, if you just start with six to eight colors of dye ink, um, you can do so much with that because you, it layers so nicely. Um, so that's without even going back to the ink pad, but you have a nice variation there. Um, but, and I can deepen that more by going back and adding more, but I want a really, really stark contrast. So I'm going to add a little bit of no diving. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to stop there. So 
So that was really, really simple, uh, really quick, especially the lining up. Usually I don't even use a sticky mat. I just hold um, things in place. So there we go. Fairly similar. I might as well add the splatter. There we go. There's stencil, my stencil. Um, I am going to now try this. I thought oh, I'll do it later, but um, I might as well do this in more of the colors I would want to use for the card that I have in mind when I bought this stencil. And so for these mountains, I'm only using two colors, um, Woof and Gur. So I've started with the Woof here. I'm doing a second coat with the stencil number two. And that's without going back to the ink pad. Now I'm going to go back here to add some, uh, some shading. looks there we go okay so for this one I think I'm gonna go really light blue so I'm gonna clean off my brush here So this is breakup blue. I'm going to go in again with the breakup blue, but um, a heavier hand. So remember, I haven't changed colors here. This is still breakup blue. This is the color I started with. We're just going on um, more ink, heavier hand. No, I think I like that. I didn't add, I think, I'm just gonna go, just so this isn't so stark white. I'm just gonna blend a little bit of sky. 
All right, let's add a little more water here. Actually, let's try my Beluga Solar Paste. I've been looking for any excuse. This has been sitting on my desk for a couple days now, and I've been looking for any excuse to open it. <laughs> so this is it. I'm going to grab a small glass bowl. I'll be right back. There, so I've got a nice watery consistency. It kind of moves on its own if I tilt the bowl. So while it's wet, I'll see if I can get a little bit to show there. All right, so it's definitely more subtle than um, the the cross my heart was when I did it onto. Uh, card background, um, but that was a different color. This is essentially blue on blue, but it is a great alternative to um, to just water spritzing because you can tell that it's there, but it doesn't fade. Um, it doesn't fade the color as much as what uh, water spritzing does. So from far away, uh, you can't really see it as much. Whereas this is like, whoa, that is <laughs> very faded. Um, but up close, you get this little bit of sparkle. I do have a piece of black card here, and I just want to see how that beluga mist will look on that. So there's the exact same watered down beluga splatter on black cardstock. And then on white cardstock uh, with blue ink. So um, what a difference, eh? <laughs> so there is three different scenes with three different color schemes. Um, there's so many options here. So this was all done with one single color. Um, this one I used two, uh, and then this one I think I used four. So um, you get a greater differentiation when you're using multiple colors, but I like how subtle this is. This is gonna be perfect for like an Arctic scene. This one, um, yeah, this one I think is my favorite so far. I'm going to try some green ones as well, and I might do more um, browns, but um, hopefully you'll see some new mountain cards from me soon, and I'll definitely try and post these on Instagram when I get a finished card out of each of them. Um, so thanks so much for watching. That was my first use of the um, stencil and stamp tool using it for stenciling, and that was the mountain scene.
from Sizzix. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any uh, experience with this tool yourself, please let me know. I am so excited to hear uh, everyone else's thoughts, but so far I, I am very, very happy with this tool. I love the size of the stamping surface. And um, if you want to see more videos specifically on this tool, let me know. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.